all right what's going on guys willis here we're back with another division 2 video we're closing in on the launch of warlords of new york and i thought i'd bring you guys i guess a mini little beginner guide to division and i guess how to prepare for the new dlc if you're just jumping in if you're a veteran player uh, these tips are going to help you hopefully um, but if you guys enjoy the video and you find it helpful be sure to leave a like it really does help the video out and if you're new to the channel consider subscribing and put those bell notifications on so you always get notified when I upload a video. But yeah, let's jump in. So if you guys have just recently bought the game, you've probably seen it for like $3 and you've picked it up. You're probably one of the new players jumping in. What most of these players I don't think realize is there is a big DLC coming out in a month. Now, if you're just jumping in to test the game, that's fine. Some of these tips I'm going to give should help you out. I guess I just wanted to make this video more of a Warlords preparation guide and I guess half if you're new to the game so yeah if you actually want to start playing warlords of new york which comes out on march 3rd obviously you have to uh buy the game now if you're going to get it and you've already decided you want to get it i recommend pre-purchasing the game because this will actually give you a lot of stuff that they don't actually tell you so if you actually buy warlords of new york right now you're given a level 30 character boost so you get to boost any of your agents that are not level 30 to level 30. Um, what's also included in this is what they don't tell you is you get a bunch of materials like all the materials you would need to pretty much just start out the game like they just give it to you for free they also give you some skins and they actually give you some high-end caches now you can sell most of the stuff in this high-end caches for credits which is what you also need it also gives you like i think 50k credits which is pretty decent but still not great but it's for free and they don't actually tell you this so one thing you can actually do if this is your i guess second character that you're boosting uh you can put on material sharing on and what this will do is it'll put all the materials you've just gotten from this level 30 character boost to your main character which is what i basically did so i pre-purchased the game i then pretty much yoinked all of the materials from my second character using the shared material feature if you're not aware how to make this work you pretty much have to head to anaya in the white house and you pretty much purchase the material sharing item on the character you want and then you just purchase it on another one and then anybody with this item will have shared materials and it's really really good actually this also works for blueprints as well so you don't have to collect all of the blueprints all over again which brings me to my next point so you want to obviously make sure you have most of the blueprints for weapons and if you can try and collect some of the exotics now what blueprints are pretty much they allow you to craft these certain weapon mods and there's a lot of weapon mods in the game that literally just skyrocket your damage and this is going to help you a ton so the best way to farm blueprints if you're not aware is by doing level three or level four control points now control points are pretty much all over the map they're pretty much these controlled locations from a certain faction and you pretty much have to level them up using the, I guess, little side things that are attached to it. So maybe there'll be like a public execution or territory control. If it's connected to that control point, you have to complete it. It'll say like plus one. You then complete it and then the control point will go up in a level. Now, so yeah, once you've pretty much farmed out all your blueprints, obviously you want to maybe just farm a bit more materials because people don't realize how important materials are once you run out. Um, There's a really, really good material farm I did a video on pretty much yeah i think it was like the start of the division two it was near the solar farm now if you're not aware the solar farm is a control point once you take it over the area around the solar farm is probably the best place in the game to get just materials all around it drops all different types of materials from steel to carbon fiber titanium you sometimes get electronics ceramics which is super good this area has it all and it resets quite frequently as well so you can run it once a day and you can pretty much just stock up for the week on materials and you'll be good. So yeah, clear out the solar farm. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put a route at the end of this video showing you the farming route for solar farm where you can just run around, collect all the materials. It's extremely helpful. So next, you want to start maxing out your specializations. If you're playing right now, you've reached max level, you're not sure what to do, start maxing out your specializations. Now, the best way to do these is to do weekly and daily bounties. These will give you five specialization points it's super super quick and you can very much do these until you don't have any more target intel another good way is to do control points um up to rank four level 
leveling up as well just by getting normal XP in the game will give you the caches which you can then open these will give you some specialization points super super handy and I guess the last thing you can be doing is obviously getting exotics now we don't know how the exotics are going to work in warlords whether we're going to need to completely refarm them go collect them again but how it worked when you went to world tier 5 uh you had to get like exotic components these are from pretty much dismantling exotics these exotic components were used to upgrade your exotics i guess to the next tier um but the one thing people don't realize is you actually need the base weapon so say you wanted to upgrade your chameleon to level 40 you will obviously need a level 30 chameleon to upgrade to level 40 unfortunately so you still need to actually go get these exotics if you want to upgrade them to level 40 i don't know if that's confirmed on how it works but i'm assuming it will be it would be kind of stupid to go into warlords and have to like go do all the exotic quests again for nemesis um i'm assuming they're gonna let us upgrade and i guess one last thing you can do is start clearing out your stash now the stash is the vault of the division 2 for any of you destiny players it's where you store all of your gear now you can dismantle it all but what you have to realize is in warlords they're adding a recalibration library this will allow you to store the stats from your gear but i'm pretty sure it was confirmed that we cannot store level 30 items but maybe we we can so maybe just keep them and then on the day of launch go see if you can store any of the stats and if you can't you can honestly just delete your entire stash because it will be completely useless unless you plan on staying level 30 but yeah that's been the video guys just a little quick preparation guide for warlords of new york and i guess a little beginner guide for those of you just jumping in or you veterans that are just jumping back on hope you guys enjoyed i'm gonna leave you guys with the solar farm route that i mentioned earlier in the video where you pretty much can just run around get free materials use these materials obviously to min max your builds when warlords comes out but yeah i'll see you guys in my next video don't forget to hit that subscribe button join the discord if you're new discord.gg willis and i'll see you guys in my next video peace